to do your monthly spiritual guidance really tuning into the end of the energies for the month of december okay this is what your guys jesus allah the universe whatever it is you believe in love muffin this is what they want you to pay attention to in the month of december so my mic fell out <laughs> so virgo Keep in mind that this is a general reading. It may resonate, it may not. However, there are so many beautiful souls sharing their gifts, guys. You're going to find someone who picks up on your energy. So if the shoe does not fit, do not force it. Don't force it. Nah, we don't do that over here, okay? Virgo. Can I just say OMG? OMG. Virgo, whoever I'm tuning into your energy, you are some of the most sweetest courageous beautiful souls i don't know why i need to say this but 2020 has been a year for you mastering yourself and finding that confidence in yourself of who you are what it is that you want when it comes to career what it is that you want when it comes to love i just feel like there's been this glow up of some sort okay just this overall glow up 2020 was a year that taught you you know what? Demand what it is that you want. Have confidence. Walk in that room. Say it. Say it from your gut. And that's what it's going to be. <laughs> okay. Because I feel like spirit and your guys really want you to know that be confident. Whatever you want, you can have it. I promise you that is in career, Virgo. That is in relationships. So just pick whatever one you're lacking confidence in, okay? I feel like it's one area you are excelling. Even if you're single, like you know that you're the biz knees, like you know that you're beautiful. But for some of my Cap oh, not, ooh, I don't say Capricorn, but some of my Virgos, if you have Capricorn in any of your placements, you know, you should definitely go check Capricorn videos out. These are all gonna be up pretty, pretty much around the same time. Um, but you... It's very important, Virgo, that you know your power. Step into your power. I feel like a lot of you Virgos have played it small, you know, have kept quiet, you know, have, you know, dimmed your light some or hid your light under the bed. And I feel like it's time for you just to burst out. It's time for you to walk in the room and own it. It's time for you to speak from the chest, okay? <laughs> Take up space, period. You got to take up space. That's what we do on all 2020, honey. Be confident because there's something that you desire. It's something that you want. And spirit is saying it's yours. It's yours. You don't have to wait to get it. Go take it. Go do it. Go get your dream. Okay? If, you're in a, if you want love, put, position yourself. Go get it. Move away from anything that's not giving you that vibration that you desire. I feel like go get it. Sorry, guys. You just heard my kitty cat's bell. <laughs> okay, so what we're going to take a look at, guys, is just to see what's going on with you in a mental, um, in your mental space, okay? And I feel like the more that you process whatever's going on upstairs, these things are really, of course, you're going to be thinking about a lot, but these things are that are really crowning you. There's something that you need to pay attention to when it comes to your environment. I feel like there could be somebody around you or your home life that keeps you not confident, okay? We also have relationship change and it came out reverse. Ooh, okay, and pride. So for some of my Virgos, I feel like there's some kind of relationship dynamic or a, a way that you viewed relationship relationships 
or the partners that you used to entertain that were not healthy for you. And I feel like you're changing that. Whatever resistance you were holding onto, I feel like you're letting go of that ego or the expectations of what this person could have been or what y'all could have been. And I feel like you're, you're, you're letting go of ego. You know, you're letting go of whatever didn't serve you, be it in your home environment, your work environment, your personal relationships, okay, or even in your ego. I feel like you have really dealt with yourself on a whole nother level. And this is why your guys want you to know that, baby, these shifts that are coming in, it's yours. What you lack, Virgo, is the confidence. Why are you scared to say it? Say it with your chest. The universe is like a restaurant. You know what I'm saying? You don't go, well, um, I think maybe, um, mm, uh, mm, even if you do that for a while, you have to eventually get to the place where you order. You know what I'm saying? Because they're going to be like, mm, am I bringing you something or not? You know, you're not like, well, um, I, you know, I ordered, uh, what did you order? Let's see. I don't know. I don't want to use the whole typical chicken and beef thing, but. We'll just, we'll just, um, I ordered a strawberry cheesecake, but you brought me banana. So I guess I'll just take it. I felt like that was the energy of somebody like you really wanted strawberry cheesecake, but the waitress bought you banana and you just took it. I felt like whatever that, that aspect in you. You've put that person to rest. You have admired her because she took you this far. And you, you're like, no. Now what you're doing is you're like, no, I did not order a um, banana. I clearly said strawberry cheesecake. Um, I don't want this. Can you take it back and bring me um, what I ordered? Thank you. You see, how, you see how Tori said that? That's what you need to do. Stand up. Take that present in your life. If you did not order it, if you do not want it, do not accept it. You have that power inside of you. Only you can do that. You are the co-creator of your reality, Virgo. Whatever's in your environment that is not appeasing to you, get it out of there. If it's your home life, if you're staying with family or staying in some kind of situation, start planning, start doing what you got to do so you can what? Get up out of there relationships if you know what if you is a one-sided thing there is no equal exchange get out of there okay if it's your pride if it's your ego trying to talk you and humble you get out of there okay i feel like the more that you do that virgo the more peace and and prosperity and tranquility you're going to experience in your life it's going to go up from here i just feel like your life is literally is going up from here so let's just take a look and see what a spirit want you to know about your love life. All right, the gardener. Yes, you set the tone for how somebody gonna treat you. Somebody is realizing that and you are calling in a divine partner. I feel like you're standing in your power like, okay, I'm not just gonna accept anything. I know what it is that I desire. I know what it is that I want. If this person can't give it to me, cool. I'm about to go plant something else. I'm about to take my seed and put it in another garden. I'm not about to keep investing in something. And guess what? That is bringing you a divine counterpart, a, a soulmate, okay? A life partner is what I'm hearing right here. Because I feel like it's very important for you, Virgo, to get someone who balances you who is very balanced within their own emotions because that's how you're showing up here. You can't be, I told somebody this, like it's kind of like when you are on a different, different frequency and I'm just going to say this and I'm just going to be completely transparent and completely honest with you guys. Okay. I know that in a part of my journey, um, I have realized that everything goes for different strokes for different folks, you know, and at some season, you know, we enter into things and then we evolve with the seasons and we grow because I'm going to tell you, um, honestly, when it comes to the whole twin flame, if you identify yourself on that journey, you know, um, like, um, I did the thing with that is, is I really believe, and this is just my belief guys. Okay. 
and and I'm being guided to share this with you, <laughs> but I truly believe that um, anything that the divine sends you, okay, that whole runner chaser, um, you know, runner chaser, this person, you've been three years, four years waiting for this person to acknowledge you, waiting for this person to offer you something while they are offering it to somebody else. I really feel like that's the karmic. I feel like that person is in your life to show you to love yourself so you can meet the real thing. So you can get to your twin flame. I don't feel like that person that's going back and forth that's conflicted within their self is your divine counterpart. You know? And that's just my theory. That's just my belief. You know, that's just my belief. That's just my belief. (laughs) I keep repeating that because I feel like there's some dynamic that you're getting out of some toxic way of of thinking about relationships and what is truly a a divine counterpart, male or female, okay? I feel like you could be a divine feminine, a feminine, you know that word, because the divine masculine, or you can just really be guided by your emotions. I feel like you're taking a look at that. Okay, we got interference right here and we got, Money versus love. And then we got healing, okay? And then we're gonna pull some tarot really quick because I wanna just check and see. Is this a, ooh, I'm telling you, the sun. Let's see, can we clarify what's going on here? I feel like, you know, for you, you guys are, you're healing. You're really focused on your healing right now healing your heart, being a better person, being a better you, okay? I feel like this person that you were trying to be with, there was an interference right here, and this interference was, I feel like this person chose money or chose something over you. Let me see this card. Yeah, the five of pentacles. Maybe they rejected your cup. And spirit is saying, that's fine, because... This is what I want to let you know. And I'm going to be sharing this video. I'm going to come face to face on my channel. Yay. And just really to live a more fulfilling, empowering life in 2021. One of the things that I'm going to um, talk about just going by with my one-on-one coachings and, and sessions that I've done with beautiful souls. And I've seen so much prosperity transpire in their life in mine is that you have to learn to let go gracefully. What does Tori mean when she says that? I mean by, you have to understand, I'm a firm believer. What is for you will never miss you. Let me say that again. What is for you will never miss you. Meaning, if a person or a situation leaves your life, what am I saying? I need somebody to say it for me. Uh Uh-huh. Say, please say it again. If something misses you, it's not for you. I don't care if this thing could come around back in the future, but in this moment where we are meant to be living, where we are meant to be, that thing is not for you. So you have to learn how to let go gracefully, okay? Because when we don't, that puts us in the energy of rejection, that puts us in the energy of pain. When we hold on to things that were, it's only, it's not for this season. That's like if we're in winter, all right? And then we about to hit summer, but we still trying to wear apple bottom jeans, boots with the fur and the puffy coat. No, you're going to be hot as hell. You're going to feel out of place. It's going to be out of alignment, okay? Because Virgo, you are moving in connections that are equal exchange. You understand me? The six of pentacles, an equal exchange. That's all you got time for. Okay, you are choosing people and connections that choose you. Yes, and it's going to take you out of this 10 of swords. And it might be hard to do that because maybe you're not used to that. But you'll get used to it. Okay, because beautiful things are going to come towards you. Yeah, look, we got the eight, the hangman, the 10 of wands, beautiful things. I feel like there's a situation, um, Virgo, whether you're with this person or not, but this, this situation is in your energy. The four of swords, you're really thinking about it right here. I feel like this person isn't going to communicate, but it's going to be the same damn thing. Limbo. Because they're still holding on stuff to the past. So let's see. Spirit, 
If Virgo leaves this person alone, what do they have to look forward to in love? What does Virgo have to look forward to in love? If they find the confidence to leave this person. Oh, the high priestess. Oh, the high priest. I said the high priestess commitment, real commitment. Mm hmm. A person who doesn't, you know, keep all of their emotions to their self. Because I know this person. I feel like if you got communication from them, it was your intuition speaking to you. It was more on 5D. It was not in the 3D. It wasn't tangible. Yeah, you're going to get someone who's going to really offer you something in the tangible when I see that card. Something that's worthwhile. Oh, the listen. Yes, who values your emotion, who values your time. Okay, yes. The Ace of Wands, you're going to get a new beginning in love. So, Virgo, you know. <laughs> I don't need to tell you, you know what you got to do, honey. And I'm not here to judge you. Whatever you choose to do is what you choose to do. But you do have a choice to make. You can either stay in this cycle because this person is, everyone, you have to know that ascension is a choice. Healing is a choice. Growth is a choice. And not everybody chooses it this lifetime. Okay. So let's go ahead and see what information do you need to be aware of in the month of December that will bring you more fulfillment in your life if you apply it, okay? So when it comes to career, you have the creator. Yes, you create your reality. You create your reality. You can have whatever it is that you want. This is, and this is like your chakras being in alignment and the yellow is really standing out the personal, the personal power to create that. Okay. Surrender to play. I feel like you need to take a break from overthinking a goal. Do something fun. Play is a time of recreation and rejuvenation. So I feel like get, you know, get childlike play, go out in nature, spend some time with animals in nature. If you have animals, you know, um, also make an altar. Yes. I got an ancestral one, but if you don't particularly believe in that, make an altar of just things that inspire you things that, you know, are, are like a corner with pillows and, you know, some books or like a little, make a little drapery. You can do that. I mean, for $30, you can create you a real little cute little space, <laughs> get a little table, you know, Ikea, hello. And like, just, you need a space where you can go and this is where you reverence your inner world on an outer layer, okay? So lastly, guys, we're going to take a look and just see, you know, what word does spirit want Virgo to keep at the forefront of their mind in the month of December? Light, your light. In all situations, seek the light, okay? Be it in your relationships. It does not matter, honey. Be about the light. Seek the light. It is time to reveal your radiant light to the world. Step out. Take up space. Okay, Virgo, period. <laughs> Guys, if this message has resonated, please like it, comment, share. I'm friendly. Um, I love you guys so freaking much. And it is such an honor to read for the beautiful soul who is receiving this message. As always, I'm sending you so much love, so much light, and so much prosperity. And I will catch you on my channel. Take care. Follow, she blazing. Ha <laughs> ha